Here's how to get coordinates in Minecraft Java. I'm going to teach you how to get the regular coordinates, like the same way that people get them like this, the normal way. And I'm also going to teach you how to get those coordinates that I have permanently down there on my screen. If this video helps you, all I ask you in return, guys, is that you subscribe. And now let's go ahead and begin. If you're on a desktop, it's going to be slightly different than if you're on a laptop. If you're on a desktop, all you have to do is press F3 on your keyboard. So look for the key called F3. And once you press it, you're going to see the X, Y, Z right here, the line right there that has your X and your Y and your Z coordinates on your screen. But if you're on a laptop, when you press F3, you might not get that menu in there. So what you have to do on your laptop keyboard is look for a key called F3 n and then press f3 and fn at the same time and then you'll get this screen right here now if you guys are not getting the coordinates when you press f3 but you do get all the information then just head over to your options on your settings and then head over to chat settings scroll down and make sure that reduce debug info is turned off because if this is on it's not going to show your coordinates that is the typical way that you will get the coordinates on your screen but if you want to see your coordinates without seeing all this other information and you want your coordinates to stay on your screen kind of like how bedrock does it then here's how to do it we're going to add this data pack to minecraft called coordinates HUD. So go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is going to place you in this page. And in here, you're going to see all of this in here. You're going to look for informative. You're going to press on it. And then you're going to select coordinate HUD right here. Once you select it, you're going to hit download right here on the right side. And as you can see, after a couple seconds, your download will begin. It should be a zip file. And I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. You can find this zip file on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now with this zip file downloaded, go ahead and right click on it and click extract all. If you don't have anything to extract this file, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description to install 7-zip but if you have windows 11 you should be able to extract it and then you should get this folder called vanilla twix and inside you should have the coordinates hud file which you want to go ahead and drag and drop now into your desktop ultimately leaving you with this zip file you could delete this empty folder now and you're going to keep this zip file you're going to keep the coordinates hud as a zip file you don't have to unzip this one now go back into minecraft and select the world where you want to see the coordinates i'm going to be using this world right here just go ahead and click on it don't hit play you select it and click on edit down here and now click where it says open world once you click open world folders you're going to see a folder called data packs in here go ahead and open it and inside this data pack folder you're going to place that file that we just downloaded and extracted the coordinate hud so just go ahead and select it from your desktop and place it inside the data packs folder now close this folder head back into the game and now just click save down here and now guys just go ahead and load that world that you just added the coordinates into or the coordinates pack and when you load the world don't be surprised if you don't see the coordinates because you have to trigger them for that press t on your keyboard to open the chat then type in the slash command and in here you want to type in trigger just like that and then press a space and then typing ch and then the underscore like that and then toggle just like that so type that command down there and then hit enter and as you can see from now on you have some coordinates all the time on your screen as you can see down there and if you guys ever want to get rid of the coordinates just go ahead and use the same command that you use to enable them but there you guys have it if this video helped you out don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time